What's up, people? <clears throat> In this video, we are going to watch this. Sarah Melissa Jones' 12-week transformation. This, by the way, is the list of all of the videos that I... Well, yeah, I haven't done all of these, but like... To give you an idea, like, gi give me more, I guess is what I'm saying. Like, this seems like a lot, but I do like a lot of these every day. So like, I, I, I don't mind, like load me up, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, transformation. week transformation week one workout video i don't know maybe she has like a 12 week is this like about her 12 mm. I, like you asked me to do a 12 week uh like a transformation like a video on like the summary of her 12 week transformation i, I guess <coughs> week one workout video versus week 12 detailed q a Hmm, a million views. Well, that's a lot. I guess that might be the video you were talking about. So bad popular. Who is this girl? My transformation weight loss using BBG and weights. I don't know what BBG is. I can imagine. Um I guess this one is probably what you meant. My weight loss transformation, BBG and weights. Um, <clears throat> okay, I guess we will watch this one. Yeah, in the future, if possible, like let me know specifically what video you want me to watch, I guess. Because like, is it this one or this one? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, so here we go. If you guys have any other recommendations, let me know. Leave me a comment. And yeah. Let's do it. Loud. Because my bad diet, like I should be going to bed and I should be eating good and I should get myself up in the morning, go for a run, go for a walk, use my treadmill that I bought breaks if I don't use twice. But I don't want to get old and regret that I haven't lived my life because I've been lazy. I need to get myself in a routine where I'm eating healthy, I'm eating consistently, and I'm not making stupid excuses. You have to just keep on top of things, and it's the same with your diet and your eating. You can't just eat good for one day and think that everything's going to change. You have to eat good for one day, eat good for the next day, and eat good for the day after that. Just, I just want to feel good and healthy and fit. It's not even so much anymore about what I look like. I just, the main thing, I just want to feel good. I want to be able to get up and go for a run. But there's, there's always something stopping me. Why is it so hard for people? I mean, okay, fine. I, you know, I, I guess like she eventually got fit, but like, who, why do you fucking cry? And it's not about her. Like, good for her. She lost the weight. She actually did it. But like, why do you fucking cry about like, about like this, like, fitness stuff it's so fucking easy it's not it's not hard like it's actually not hard it, it, do you see like okay you guys watch youtube do you see how many fucking stupid people <laughs> are like in amazing shape like do you do you do you notice that right am i the only one who notices that like it's not it's it's like rare to find somebody who is uh like fit and also intelligent like it's not it's not common um so it, it doesn't require like any intelligence. It doesn't require like really any money. If you like, you can find ten twenty dollar gyms. Um, like w w like to buy a vegetable or fucking like anything and eat it. Like is it really that hard for you to do that? I, I don't know. I mean, is this the wrong video? I don't know. I'm always tired or I just I just can't pick myself up. I need to do it. You can't change the past, but you can change the future. So. We'll see. Hmm. There are times in life we feel like we're going in circles. We're doing the right thing, but not making much progress. We don't see anything changing. It's easy to lose our passion and get discouraged. 
But one test we all have to pass is being faithful when nothing new is happening. We're just going to work, raising children, coming home, doing the same thing again. It's easy to be our best when we're getting good breaks, things are falling into place. That doesn't take much faith. But what about when you're working hard but not getting the credit? You're being your best, but your marriage isn't improving. When you're faithful in the routine, something is happening that you can't see. Your character is being developed. And the routineness of life is not exciting, but it is necessary. You won't become all you were created to be without being your best when it's mundane. Being excellent, having a good attitude. It is really grumpy that today is Wednesday, so it's only day three, and already I'm skipping a workout. And this is what I didn't want to do for the next four weeks because I just always. Oh God, is this the wrong video? This is so dumb. Um. I guess what I want to say is that like it's you can skip a workout it's fine I mean it, you shouldn't but like the 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 timeline is not like a week right you're not gonna lose the fucking weight in a week anyway I mean you can but like sh she doesn't look like sh she, she's trying good and I'm talking about this like it's actually happening in real time I know she lost the weight she did everything it's fine um, but like don't beat yourself up if you miss well if you're new, you shouldn't miss any workouts, okay? If you have experience, you can miss workouts, right? So like I many times in recent years have like, like I'll go to the gym and I'll literally like walk through the doors and I'll be like, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> this is not happening. Like I'll go up to the gym floor and I'll like basically like go to like the ab area or stretching area and I'll like lie down and just like stare at the ceiling for like 20 minutes. Like I can't do this today. I just can't do it, you know? But I've like actually been working out for like 20 years of my life, like actually 20 years, like I'm that old, you know? So if I want to skip a fucking workout, I can skip a workout. But if you're like a fat girl who like just started and you cry about it all the time, probably shouldn't skip workouts. And then make a video like, oh, I'm, I'm really mad at myself for skipping a workout, but I'm just so comfortable in my bed. I mean, okay, fine, day three, like, you know, it's not so bad, I guess, but like, it's just, it's, it's once you break your discipline once, you'll break it again, I guess is what I'm saying. There's an extra day excuses. And now, today I just was so disappointed that I didn't make time for working. Kind of makes me feel like I should just stop moaning and doing now. But at the same time, I feel like I should just go to sleep. Because it's nearly 10 o'clock now. And I need an early night. But then also I want to take Wednesday or... And if I don't do it, then I can't do it. Maybe I should just do like... Yeah, yeah so I'm just gonna do a quick minutes because I don't want to not take off Wednesday because that's my goal for the next 12 weeks is to not miss a single workout or any second. So I'm gonna make myself do it. Oh, she made herself do it. I think, right? There's a popular quote going around at the moment. The person you will be in five years is based on the books you read and the people you hang around with today. This is quite true, but it applies to everything else as well. The person you will be in the future is based on everything you do today. The people you hang around with, but more so the people you listen to, the opinions you believe, the books you read, or the videos you watch. All the information you take in, positive or negative, will affect your future. The workouts you do or don't do, that will show up in the future. The food you eat today will affect your future on a visual and energy level. The same is true with your thoughts and information. What you feed your mind will shape your future. If all you do is take in garbage, guess what your future is going to be made up of? Commit to feed your mind with successful thoughts and surround yourself with those who have the same ambition. It doesn't matter where you get your information from. You may read, you may get it from podcasts or videos. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you keep feeding your mind every day. Everybody wants to be successful. But virtually nobody understands that success is a path. It's a process. It's not a finish line. It's not something that you do once and then you finish. It is literally the systematic acquisition of skills. And as Scott Adams said, every skill you acquire doubles your odds of success. And that's it. That's the secret. If you really want to do something in your life, if you really want to be great, if you want to smash it, if you want to be remembered, the key is to acquire as many skills as you can because everything you bring into your world gives you an exponentially greater chance of winning, of doing the thing that you want to do. But you have to be totally focused and committed on gaining those skills. And as The Rock pointed out, success at anything will always come down to this. Focus and effort, and we control both. Once you understand that that's what you have to do, you have to get control of yourself. You have to stay focused on something. You have to learn the discipline and apply it on your path to success to acquire the skills you want to acquire. That it is going to demand of you that you work harder, you work smarter, and you work longer than anybody else. And that's the fucking secret. There really is no grand mystery. If you want to be successful, if you want to do something other people can't do, then you have to become capable of the extraordinary. You have to become capable of doing something that other people can't, and that is the best. Oh my god, look at that ass. Do. Holy shit. Oh my god, she's so hot. Wow, look at that body. Oof, mama mia. Um, yeah, like, why'd you ask me to do this video? Like, this is basically, like, I was fat. I started working out. Like, I actually went and worked out for six months, maybe. 
or 12 weeks, I guess. It's possible in 12 weeks. Like, she, she didn't look, I mean, uh, it's not like she didn't look good, but like, yeah, three months. Like, uh, she's got a great ass for sure. And like, I mean, she definitely did a lot of like booty workouts, like 100%. But even her, her the fat distribution in her ass was good before. Um, like, she wasn't like super, like, you know, obese or anything. It's just like fucking like, you know, worked out for like three months. Like, yeah, of course, <laughs> no shit. I say all the time, like y- you can change your body extremely quickly. Um, and she didn't really have like a lot to like to, lo- to lose. So I, I guess, I- I- are you asking like, is this possible in three months? Like, yeah, of course. Like, yeah. <laughs> Man, that ass, holy shit. Give you because it doesn't matter what you're born with. It doesn't even matter who you are. What matters is who you want to become and the price that you're willing to pay to get there. And let me tell you this, the price is known. And that price is the acquisition of skills. That price is getting so good that people can't ignore you. That price is being able to beat anyone at the game that you've chosen to play. Once you get to that point, once people stand back in awe when they watch what you're doing, then you will have won. Then success will be yours. But it was, in no uncertain terms, the result of the path that you walked. As Angela Duckworth notes, enthusiasm is common. But endurance is rare. So when you sneak out that first lead, when you get ahead of people and you think, hey, I've acquired the skill, I've done something, people are looking at you like I can't be stopped. Remember that right now, at this moment, someone's practicing. Well, you're not doing the thing that you need to be doing while you're sitting back in your walls, very happy with what you've accomplished. Somebody else is going to eat your lunch because they have. So this exercise is called face pulls, right? It's kind of, it's like a meme exercise, kind of like not a meme exercise. It's like kind of like it's not a joke exercise. It's it's very good. It's great, but it's like uh, Jeff Cavalier recommends them. He says you got to do them every workout. Um, so I, it's it's. And I I guess the reason I'm bringing this up is that when you see somebody who's doing these, like they know, they know what they're doing. In this case, I'm assuming it's a trainer who's like telling her what to do. Um, But this is like a sign of a good trainer if he's telling his client to do face bolts because it's very good for your posture. Um, So yeah, this is like, she she has a good trainer, I guess. I think she's from like, that was Sydney, I think. Seems like she's from like the Northern beaches. It's like a very, like, it's like like the affluent part of Sydney it's like I think like was it called like Manly and I forget what are the other areas there it's like even nicer than Manly whatever anyway um yeah good for her she fucking looks good passion and enthusiasm that endures and at the end of the day if you can want something so badly if you fucking burn from the inside to do something to become something to become capable of more then you will endure then you'll be able to push past other people then when other people break and they lie in your way you will push forward because that fucking thing in you that you've cultivated is the ability to endure it is not the ability to be a badass it is not the ability to think that you're cool it is the ability to kick your own ass to deal with what is boring to live in the pain to step towards anguish to know that suffering is a choice and you choose so this like this motivational talk in the background like is this and again props to her like look at that body like uh, this is and fine she's like natural she's not like one of these like freak fitness influencers but for like a normal girl like that's this is this is this is something to aspire to and of course like she's got like huge boobs and a nice ass naturally but like with fitness those things are like accentuated um so basically what i'm trying to say is that like this raw raw motivation shit in the background like does this really look that hard to you like not to take anything away from her she's fucking i wouldn't kick her out of bed um but th- does this look like hard work to you like does is this like a challenge to you does, does this look like something that is like beyond your capability of doing like going to a gym and going like this and going like this and and like you know, bending your knees and like standing back up a couple times like does that is that something that you're like i can't do that <laughs> That's what I said about fitness earlier. It's like this is this is fitness is not hard. It's easy. E- even this, this looks this is easy. It's not like it's, n- it's not hard, right? So like I don't know. I guess that's my point. To turn it off because you know on the other side, on the other side of endurance, on the other side of outlasting everybody else is a skill set that makes you unstoppable. Think about this. You have $86,400 to spend every single day. But when the day is over, the money disappears. You can't get it back. When you try to spend all of the money before they disappear, when you try to use it wisely, use it as best you could. The sad part is, we only have 86,400 seconds a day, and most people take this time for granted. Most people let this time disappear without second thought. We never get this time back. We must use it wisely. We must be productive. We must use our time to do things we enjoy or use it to set up our life so we can spend our future doing more things we want to do instead of wasting your time on meaningless things. Use it to learn new things. The time you spend playing video games or partying with your friends will never come back. Once you use that time, it's gone forever. Use your time wisely. Read books. Study hard and learn as much as you can. Most people give up on their dreams because it gets too hard. A lot of students stop chasing their dreams because of one failed test. Matter of fact, most students don't even try their best when they take the test because in their mind, they have already failed the test. They stop believing in themselves and once the belief is killed, the dream is killed. If you have a dream, you must do everything to make it into reality. It doesn't matter how many times you fail a test. Never stop believing in yourself. Life itself is a test. Sometimes you will fail. 
but the only way you can be a failure is if you stop trying. Whatever. Okay, so that's that's true. This is almost over anyway. But basically, what, what did the guy say? If you were if you were listening, he said, um, "Once the belief is killed, like w- once you believe that you're going to fail, you're it's it's done. Like it's over. You, you have in order to do anything, you have to believe that it's possible. Like this has nothing to do with the, like this is. I mean, two and a half million views. I, I guess this resonated with people f- for some reason." Um, but like just just speaking from my own personal example, just the first thing that popped into my head. I was thinking about this the other day. Maybe that's why it popped into my head. But like when now I make these videos, and even when I made them before, like I I honestly like always believed that I would be well si- since I started doing this again. Like I always kind of believed that I would have a popular channel, right? I always I didn't know how. I didn't know like what like what would be like the tipping point. Still really haven't gotten there. But even now, like the way that I I consider at least in my mind that I like speak and carry myself and express myself like this is how I imagine somebody who like has something to say and is like confident and like really like I honestly like I feel the way I act as if I have a hundred thousand subscribers like I, I that's I, I feel like I act like that I, I don't know maybe maybe I don't but that's what I have in my mind right and it's like it's the same with fitness right if you if you believe if your set point right is a fit person like my set point for fitness is like abs like uh, i'll do like a routine check all the time where like go into the bathroom and i like lift my shirt and flex just to make sure i can still see my abs like a few times a week maybe i like flex and i like okay top two or like is this are these the top two two yeah i guess these are the top two because you have that like muscle here i guess i'm not sure if those are the top two whatever anyway top two are good middle two and then like a little bit of fat here but anyway, I test it because that's my set point. I'm like, if I can't feel that for any reason, I'm like, fuck. You know, I believe that I should have that. I believe that I deserve that. I believe essentially that's just who I am. So if I don't feel that for whatever reason, it, I'll just naturally like be pulled in that direction. Um, and it's it's kind of tricky, I guess, if you've never if you haven't achieved that yet. You're like, well, why should I believe it? It's it's so kind of beyond your comprehension to like believe that it's possible with fitness I guess it's kind of like sales actually now that I think about it like when I first started doing sales or when anybody first starts doing sales you have this idea of sales that it's like some like complicated intricate like impossible thing that only some people can do and some people are just born natural salespeople, and some people just suck forever and they'll never be any good and like you don't know what to do you don't know what to say and like until you actually make your first sale you don't believe you, you don't know if it's possible or not. You're kind of just operating on faith, which is why salespeople have such a high turnover because they give up before they make their first sale. But as soon as you make your first sale, as soon as you experience what is probably an easy customer, somebody who just like wants to buy anyway, really, and they just like let you bumble through your presentation just because they wanted to buy, right? Then you... Um, you see that it's possible. You, you see you actually made a sale, right? Like they didn't like walk in the door and buy. You still had to call them or approach them. You still had to do your pitch. You still had to like offer them a deal or like, you know, overcome an objection or two or something maybe. And they bought and you're like, oh my God, I actually did it. And like when you do it once, you can do it again. So like with fitness, it's kind of the same. It's like once you like work out for a little bit and you see like maybe your booty's like looking a little bit, you know, more, you know, whatever this is. Um, once your abs like start popping a little bit, you know, once you start getting compliments, you're like, okay, this is possible. I can do this. Um, and in 12 weeks, I don't know what BBG is. Big, bad, I don't even know. Um, she did have a trainer who looked like he knew what he was doing, but honestly, it's no excuse. Like, just go into the gym and just copy what other people do. Like, it's not it's not hard. She didn't have far to go. Props to her for doing it. She's got a fabulous, she looks good. Um, yeah. So I, I guess, it did, is this the wrong video or something? But I just, I don't think this is like, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, this, this does not look like anything. It looks good, but um, this is not in three months. Like this is, this is like easy, I guess. If you actually go to the gym and fucking work out, you know, don't eat like a pig. Um, yeah, so Sarah, Sarah Melissa Jones, good for you for doing this. Um, give me your number. I'll call you next time I come to Australia. And that's it. Let me know if you guys have any other suggestions. Peace.